This week I'm going to show you how to make a cup of coffee or a cup of hot chocolate. What you need for this one is a clear 160, a mocha brown 160, and a white 260 or whatever color you want the coffee mug. Okay, let's get started. Inflate the cup balloon all but a three finger tail. Let a little puff of air out before you tie it. Inflate the mocha brown 160 with a four finger tail. And let a puff of air out of that before you tie it. And inflate your clear 160 and let all the air out of it. Okay, let's start with the mug. You wanna start with a cherry tomato sized bubble and pitch twist it. Pull the knot really hard into the crack as you turn. Then let's go around four fingers. If it's tight, give a little squeeze. Make a little cherry tomato sized bubble, another, it's a spacer bubble, another cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist that one. Then go around four fingers. Make another cherry tomato sized bubble, spacer bubble. Another cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist that one. Go around four fingers. And then squeeze all the air up towards the end. Stretch it a little bit and squeeze the air up and make a little micro bubble. And twist that around the first pinch twist that you started with and wrap it around. So you have this and then kind of curve the handle. Now let's make the chocolate to go on the inside. Make a little tiny round bubble about one finger size and pinch twist it. Make another little round bubble the same size and pinch twist that. Make a little bubble about one finger, little spacer bubble, and another little round bubble and pitch twist that one. Now what you want to do is wrap it around all this stuff. So it's going to be about three fingers. You're going to loop it around and that should fit in the center. So wrap around three fingers and then make a little spacer bubble and wrap it around the other spacer bubble and twist it. And now what you want to do is pick up your cup. Hold this right up to the white 260 and measure down to the bottom. It should be about six fingers and make three bubbles, one up, or little loops, one up to the little pinch twist. So there's two, one down there, and roll the third one through, and one more, the way up, and wrap that around. And this little piece that's sticking up, we're gonna cut that at the very end, and find the little knot where you started, or anything, you can just knot it to itself and knot it two times. So you have something that looks like this. Now take your white 160. Hold the tail end of the balloon, not the knot end, but the tail end right um, under your thumb and at the base of your finger. Wrap it around two fingers. A little bit tight, but not real tight. And then put this end on a balloon pump and have somebody pump it up for you. Or I'm gonna use my electric inflator. So you just wanna hold on to it. Put that on and then let it wrap around your fingers. like that. 
and it should spiral it. Now this part that's not spiraled, I don't want. So I'm gonna go down to here, let a little puff of air out, and then tie it. Now I wanna figure out how, how long I want my steam. So go to the very end where it um, makes the skinnier loop and go about three fingers from the end of your balloon and bend that up so it looks like the steam is going up like this and you can try to put a better curl in there if it's not curly enough for you but it should be okay and I don't want my steam like that long so I'm gonna break this part off just figure out how long you want your steam for your coffee. I just want a little bit going up. So I'm going to let the air out of that and tie it off. Now what you want to do is bend this little loop down over the pinch twists that are at the top of these four. Bend it over that it should just sit in there flat and then take your steam and wrap it around those two pinch twists you can tie it or you can just wrap it around a couple times and then cut this remaining part off just pull it up and cut it and go up here and cut this part too and then fix your steam so it's sitting upright And you can, you can bend the steam too so that it sits the way you want. And then take your coffee cup and if one of your loops is a little bit wider, start at that end and you're going to push your, your hot chocolate or your coffee down into the cup. Push it the whole way into the cup. And then this, these little pinch twists get pushed back up through and your coffee part, your coffee part will get pushed down into the mug and wrap, like, it'll get kind of tucked in with the white part on the outside. And then just fix your steam the way you like it. And here is your cup of hot chocolate or hot coffee. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you're interested in learning balloon twisting, I have a free mini course for beginners in the link below. I also have a full beginners course as well. Thanks so much for watching and happy twisting.